Today we're here to run through the basics of how to operate a mini excavator. So first of all, open the cab door, make sure it's fully latched into the, the back so it can't swing shut. Make sure you climb in with three points of contact so that you don't have any chance of falling. The lever at the side here will need to be in the up position so that you can turn over the engine. Let it go through its startup procedure, then fire it up. Always make sure the seat belt is clipped in securely before operating the machine. So now that we're in the digger and we've got the engine running, just going to shut the door to reduce the noise slightly. So we pull this catch here and just reach round and shut the door like so. And obviously engage the controls, we lower this red lever here. So now we're in full control of the joysticks and other controls of the machine. For the purpose of this video, we'll be running at low revs, but to increase the revs, there's a lever to my right here, just next to the ignition, which you'd pull back to increase the revs. Then we'd like to point out the dozer blade, which is just in front of the machine. To operate this, you pull it back to lift up and push forward to lower the dozer blade. This is vital for machine stability, meaning that the machine is a lot more stable when it's engaged with the ground when digging. We'll now move on to the joysticks here. Obviously one on the left and one on the right hand side when you're sat in the machine. So to operate the main boom, we'll lift up the arm to start with by pulling this right hand joystick back. And obviously if you want to lower the arm, push, push it forwards. On the same joystick, if you move it to the left, it will crowd the bucket in, obviously then holding the material that you're digging. And obviously the reverse is to the right and that crowds the bucket out. Move across to the left hand side to pull the left hand joystick backwards. It pulls the dipper arm in and in the reverse it moves the dipper arm out when you push the joystick forwards. To move this joystick left to right slews the whole machine from side to side. like so. There is a couple of other controls in this machine. These are the foot pedals just by my feet here. On the right hand side, we'll flap up that safety cover. If we push on the right hand side of this pedal, it lose just the arm and not the cab to one side. This is brilliant in situations where access is limited. And on the left hand side, this is the auxiliary line. You'd control it in the same way as the right pedal, but as we've got a bucket, on this machine, we won't be using this today. Finally, we have these two levers in the middle. Now that controls the tracks on the machine. So if we move the blade upwards, so we're able to track freely. We pull both of the levers backwards towards the, the seat, making sure to check your surroundings before moving, there we go, and then forwards to move forwards. There is two levers and they control the tracks individually. So for instance, if you want to turn on the same spot or turn 90 degrees to the way you're digging, you just operate them separately like so and the whole track frame will turn. This is the basics of controlling or operating a mini excavator and I hope it's helped.